Okay, right through here, after going a few courses, I got a little bit of a whoop de do through here. So, I'm putting a sample shingle on. Did that down there, and I measured an inch up, and I got a nail down there at 71 inches. So, I'm going to do the same down here. And I want just a little bit more than what this edge is, just so I can go through, and if it's off, I'll know had a bias at some, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this tight. I'm measuring 70 inches from the edge there, which has got a good solid edge. And I'm going to snap a chalk line so I can re-establish this. Now, depending on what you're doing, sometimes you can go all the way to the top and not do this, but uh, I did on the other side, and it's pretty much on this one here. I got one area right here that I was just doing a little bit earlier and I just may have, might not have had enough coffee. I got just a little bit of a gyration to it. So I'm going to put a snap on, chalk line here and get it established back. I've got this lined up here. see the chalk line through there. Now if you want to go through and have a chalk line last, that was kind of wimpy because I'm using the camera here. If you spray that with a clear spray it'll stay on. This area that's you can get just a mild rain two three times a day and it'll end up ending so it's a little bit of a wimpy line but that's just good enough to get me going here. Since I didn't have a helper, I'll put a nail here and I'll seal that up with some goop. They put a nail in there too. Put some uh, roofing goop in. Nail's probably better. Something physical. Here's the line. It's actually pretty close to this roll roofing because I put, put that up it's just right through here, there's a course that I had it visually a little bit off. It was kind of bugging me. Not enough to matter, but pretty equals out. It's on a shed, so it isn't that big of a deal. So what's the good news? There's the news being. Hoverfly.